so you've been thinking about getting the Mobula 6 with the 25,000 kV motors, but you're concerned about the short flight times on this. I'm getting roughly two and a half minutes on the stock setup, stock uh, 300 milliamp hour LiPo. However, I kind of ran into an interesting solution uh, where I can now get closer to four to four and a half minutes of flight time on this on the same battery, but it does require a fair amount of work. And I'll talk about that here in this video. I would not recommend this for first timers or beginners. Um, this is pretty technical and kind of complicated. So if you're someone that isn't familiar with flashing firmware to ECs and to the flight controller, you may not want to do this. And in fact, if you don't know how to do this, you may damage your, your Mobula 6 and it won't fly. So uh, in that case, uh, yeah, I would recommend not doing this uh, project. So I do want to note that I did not discover this on my own. I ran across a Facebook post about the Mobula 6 from Patrick J. Clark. Uh, he's the, I guess, the developer of um, Project Mockingbird. And so a lot of you guys that uh, do like whoop angle racing uh, and fly in angle mode, uh, you probably already know about that. Um, he discovered this on his Mobula 6. He flashed Emu Flight and JESC firmware to the ESCs. Uh, in 40, 48 kilohertz mode, and that apparently gave him a lot more flight time. So I saw that, I was really intrigued, and I contacted him, asked him what he did, and this is uh, basically I'm telling you basically what he told me, and just regurgitating it back to you, because I know that a lot of you guys are interested in getting more flight time out of your whoops. Now he did mention to me that uh, he discovered this through an RC Groups thread, and I guess uh, someone uh, not fast enough and someone named Joe Lucid who also developed I think the uh, JEC firmware were the ones that actually sort of kind of discovered this. Now interestingly enough on 48 kilohertz PWM mode on these ESCs you shouldn't actually get more flight time accordingly to this thread at least from what I read. So it's a little counterintuitive as to why it's working and maybe it has to do with less like uh, EC braking perhaps. I will link that RC group's thread down in the description. You can read all that on your own. It's pretty technical. Uh, but basically if you just follow these sort of steps, you can get this to work. And um, you know, this is kind of experimental and a kind of a moving target. Things are changing like pretty much every day. So. Uh, this video is probably going to get outdated pretty quickly, but at least give you a framework for getting the firmware onto your Mobula 6 so that you can at least try it out and see if you get better flight times from your Mobula 6. So again, I do want to reiterate that if you're not comfortable with flashing firmware, CLI dumps, that kind of technical stuff, you know, um, installing software on your computer, USB drivers, that kind of thing, then you probably don't want to be doing this project until maybe a little bit later when things are a little bit more settled. Uh, now, with that being said, let's get right into it. And first things first, you're going to want to um, get the Emu Flight Configurator. I'll, I'll put that link down in the description as well. Download that and install that. It's pretty much it's very similar to the way Betaflight Configurator works. So if you know how to install Betaflight Configurator, you should be able to figure out how to install uh, Emu Flight Configurator. It pretty much is the same procedure. The next piece of software you want to get is a JESC um, configurator, I think it's called, or it's like a ESC firmware installation tool, and it's uh, also at this website called JFlight. Now, it turns out that uh, very recently there's a couple of additional uh, versions of JEC that were you can get through the configurator that's free now. Before you had to license it, I think it was like five dollars for a four-in-one ESC, for example. Um, but now there's like a couple of experimental uh, builds that are in there. I, can, I guess it's from this guy Joe Lucid, and one of the, one of them is 48 kilohertz mode. So that is free. Uh, I didn't know that until um, Patrick Clark told me about this. And I guess it's not really widely known, but you can flash this very specific build of uh, the uh, BL Heli S firmware. It's free and in. Con, in, I guess in conjunction with Emu Flight, it'll work together to give you these results. Um, and you only need to license it if you're going to be using RPM filter uh, in Betaflight 4.1.1. Okay, so once you've downloaded the JEC configurator and installed it, you're going to want to uh, launch it, connect your Mobula 6 to your USB ports, and uh, it'll obviously connect to one of your COM ports, and then connect to it. 
It just it kind of works pretty much the same as the Bihali Suite configurator that used to work. It's a little bit obviously updated and enhanced for JEC, and then it, it should auto detect the the um, type of EC it is. It should be target OH5. And then from the drop down menu, you want to select uh, version 2.2, 48 kilohertz. Uh, I think it's called early release or something like that. Uh, don't don't get the experimental one. So you have to get the 40 kilohertz early release. Select that and then hit flash all, and it'll bring up another window. Um, and then you can uh, flash all the four ECs at once. Now, and of course, in case you didn't know, you'll have to of course uh, plug in a battery to power on your EC. So you may want to take your props off. I think there's a warning in the EC configurator to take your props off, just in case there's any problems. Um, yeah, it's just for safety reasons. Next thing you want to do is go into uh, Emu Flight Configurator and then connect uh, to Mob the Mobula 6 flight controller and then you want to flash the, I guess, uh, the most recent version of Emu Flight so you're going to have to check off the, I guess it's the release or non-release uh, experimental um, versions, they're not, not the, no, I guess the unstable versions, sorry, at the end you want to make sure you select the unstable versions because you want to get the latest version because that's the one I installed. like December 13th dated, I think, I believe, and so it's going to be the Crazy V a 4 target, and then you want to select, uh, I think it's 0.21 or 0.22, um, it'll be up here on the screen, I'll, I'll, I'll have a screenshot of that, and then you want to flash that one to the flight controller, and then once it's done flashing and rebooting, you want to connect back to the flight controller, and uh, you want to then dump in the CLI dump that is also linked down in the description, into the CLI. It has all the settings that Patrick Clark gave me that will give you basically the PIDs and everything to give you the results for the long flight time on the Mobula 6. So a few more caveats to note. Um, this is basically going to give you that long flight time if you're doing most like indoor type racing. Um, if you're doing things outdoors in wind, um, a lot of acro, I, I found that this tune is not that well suited um, for this. So if if that's your goal, then I would say not do this. It, it, you know, obviously, just you're going to get the short flight time, of course, um, but you're going to get the better performance uh, on actor mode on the stock configuration. Now, I am going to play around with this a little bit more and maybe tune it up some more. I'm going to see it because I don't, I don't know anything about new flight, so I need to play around with it a little bit more. And maybe I'll get a better tune. I'm going to try and work with Patrick and maybe get a better acro tune out of this. But for right now, it's kind of like, eh, you know, it's not that great. Uh, I think the airflight is still better. Um, but if you're flying angle mode or acro mode indoors, um, you know, I found that the flight time is a lot more. And it does fly pretty good if you're just flying uh, and basically not doing flips and rolls, not acro, just basically doing like gates and stuff in like a track or something like that, then this is going to work great for you and you're going to get a really long flight time. Anyway, again, I want to reiterate, this is highly experimental. Uh, so it's just, you know, for those of you guys that are, you know, good at or know a lot about how to flash stuff and are comfortable with that and want to try this out and want to get a really long flight time, I would highly encourage you to give it a try and see what you think. And do definitely let me know in the comments, you know, what you think of this, the performance, um, the tune, emu flight in general, and also what kind of flight times you're getting. So I'm getting pretty good flight times on not, you know, not such great batteries. So hopefully you found this helpful. Um, I'm hoping that I, this, there's going to be more development on this coming up in the future, so I'll have more videos on this later. And I know that this will work on other types of whoops as well, so I'll probably be experimenting on this on other things as well in the future, so stay tuned for those videos. Leave me some comments and suggestions down below for those, and I will talk to you guys in the next one.